The following is an instructional video made by TRS for the Gemini Employer Portal. The focus of this video will be registering as a new user of the Employer Portal, logging into the system, and managing contacts and users as an employer. Users currently on file as system administrators for their employer within the current TRS Employer Web Access system will be automatically sent an email invitation to register as the first user for their employer of the Gemini Employer Portal. All future users can be added by this system administrator and will receive a similar email. By clicking the register button contained in the email invitation, you will be navigated to the first step of the registration process. The first step in the registration process asks you to verify your identity by confirming your TRS code, a seven-digit number assigned by TRS to your specific employer. After entering your TRS code, you will also need to agree to the terms of use for the TRS Gemini Employer Portal before clicking Continue. The next step of the registration process requires verification of your identity via multi-factor authentication. After clicking Send Verification Code, an email will be sent to the partially redacted email address listed above. This will be the same email address that received the initial registration invitation. After getting your verification code from the email, return to the registration process and enter the code from the email before clicking Verify Code. When the code matches, you can then click Continue. You can now create the password for your account. As you type, the password requirements will appear above the field until you have entered one that satisfies the requirements. Repeat your password in the second field before clicking Continue. You have now successfully registered your account and continue to sign into the Gemini Employer Portal. To sign in, first enter your email address and password. If you forgot your password, you can click the Forgot Your Password link to reset it. After clicking Sign In, you will need to perform the email multi-factor authentication step by clicking Send Verification Code and then entering in the code you receive in the email to complete the sign-in process. Once they have signed in, a system administrator can manage the contacts associated with their employer. You can navigate to the Contacts page from the Employer Information drop-down menu at the top of the page. The Contacts screen lists all of your employer's current TRS contacts, as well as a history of previous contacts. You can add a new contact by clicking Add New Contact near the top right of the page. The first step of adding a new contact is to enter their name and job title. You can also select what location they are at if your employer has multiple locations or satellite offices. Once you've entered their name, job title, and location, you can click Proceed. The second step is choosing what type of contact this person is. About which topics should TRS reach out to them when needed? You can also indicate that this person is the primary contact for a particular topic. You can only have one primary contact for each topic. If you attempt to mark someone primary for a topic that already has a primary contact, you will be notified that it will remove the primary status from the original primary contact. Once you have checked all applicable topics, you can proceed to the final step. The final step requires you to enter their contact information, including at least one phone number and their email address. Once you've done this, you can click Save to complete the Add Contact process. You can also make changes to existing contacts by selecting Edit from the Actions drop-down on the left of the screen for the appropriate contact. For example, if an employee contact has changed their name or job title, which may have also related in a change to what type of contact they are. After making any necessary changes, click Save and you will be returned to the contact screen. You can also inactivate a contact if, for example, they no longer work for your employer. Select the Inactivate option from the Actions drop-down on the left of the screen for the contact you need to inactivate. You will be asked to confirm that you want to inactivate them. Inactivating a contact will also remove any access they had to the employer portal. 
Click Yes to complete the process and be returned to the contact screen where they can now be seen under the Contacts History section. Old contacts in the Contact History section can be reactivated by selecting that option from the Action drop-down to the left of their name. Any reactivated contact would need to be re-invited and re-register as a user of the Gemini Employer Portal. Existing contacts can be invited to be users of the Gemini Employer Portal. Select the Invite option from the Actions drop-down on the left of the screen for the contact you want to add as a user. You will then need to select one or more security roles for the potential new user. System administrators can manage contacts, users, and other general information related to your employer. An employer can have up to three system administrators. Read-only staff can view your employer's information and reports but cannot make any changes to existing information, start new reports, or update reports that are already in progress. Payment remitters can update an employer's banking information and submit payment for payroll reports or any employer invoices. Payroll reporters can perform all tasks related to TRS payroll reporting outside of banking and submitting payments. This includes creating new reports and resolving errors, as well as managing payroll schedules, sick leave allotments, or flexible benefit plan information. After selecting all roles that apply to the new user, you can select Send Invite to complete the process. The new user will now receive an email from which they can begin the registration process detailed at the beginning of this video. The security roles of existing Employer Portal users can be modified by a system administrator. Select the Security Roles option from the Actions drop-down on the left of the screen for the user you want to update. Make any necessary changes to their roles before clicking Save to be returned to the Contact screen. A user can also be completely removed if needed. This option will only remove their access to the Gemini Employer Portal, but will not remove them as a contact for your employer. Select the Remove User option from the Actions drop-down on the left of the screen for the user you want to remove. You'll be asked to confirm you want to remove the user. Click Yes to complete the process and be returned to the Contact screen. This has been an instructional video made by TRS for the Gemini Employer Portal. The focus of this video was registering as a new user of the Employer Portal, logging into the system, and managing contacts and users as an employer.